Hi my name is Patrick Pomerlow from Nest Immersion, and I made this short video to explain how to install and use Nestmap. Nestmap is a very simple software and have two main functions. Automatically calibrate your projectors with a webcam, and process real-time stitching and blending of a spout video feed. To install Nestmap, download the installation file from Nest Immersion webpage, and run the setup executive file. Take a look at the terms agreement, then close it for the installation continue. Once complete, Nest Map will automatically open. The mapping and the spout play function are disabled until you license the software. To do it, open the setting window and put your unique license string and click register this PC, you need an internet connection. Now all functionality are available. While you are in the setting window, you can also check some option as, if you wish to clear the main monitor as a projector, or if Nestmap consider 4K screen as a single projector or a 2x2 projectors array. If your projectors use an hardware mask shadowing a part of the image, Nestmap can detect it and use it into the blending function. To calibrate the projectors, place the fisheye lens camera at the center of the dome. Then start Nestmap. Nestmap will list all projectors connected. Verify that the calibration camera is well selected and then press the auto calibration button. Nestmap will send several test pattern to every projectors. You can follow the progression on the monitor if this one is not used as a projector. The calibration process take approximately 15 seconds per projector. When complete, a message ask you for saving is the default calibration, while a dome grid representing the dome master is display on the dome screen. I will explain how to adjust the position of this grid in the next chapter. If calibration and the grid position is good, you can press the spout play button to receive a spout video feed and start real-time stitching and blending. You can now minimize nest map or resize the window to hide the preview to active high performance mode. If you have more than one spout center, you can select your preferred spout source in the settings window. So this is how we calibrate a dome with nest map and activate real-time stitching and blending. Nestmap will place the image position accordingly to the calibration camera orientation. To adjust the image position, you can show the grid reference and activate edit mode by clicking the center button. Then if you place the mouse into the preview image, you can scroll the mouse up and down to adjust the height of the dome horizon. When the north and south are placed correctly, hold shift and scroll the mouse to stretch the image in east-west direction. You can finally adjust the zenith to the center of the dome, using the arrow key on the keyboard. So this is how we adjust the image position in Nest Map. In the next lesson, I will show you some advanced blending options. Nestmap adjusts projector brightness and compute blending based on the calibration picture and position. But you can fine-tune those settings after the calibration is complete. To do so, it's better if you can send a white image by spout up to Nestmap and run play mode. This picture is an example of four projector are blending together. 
those section are the brightness of individual projector, while those big triangles is where two projectors are blended together. Those smaller triangles is where three projectors are blended. And finally, at the center there is a small zone where all four projector blending. In settings window, start by adjusting the first section of scroll bar to adjust individual projector brightness evenly. The next section is to adjust the blend zone where two, three or four projectors are blending together. A perfect blend is not easy to obtain. You can then try with different color or directly with the show of the moment. Keep in mind that adjusting blending values is very CPU demanding, and this could momentary freeze the video during recomputation. So that's how we fine-tune the blend with NestMap. It's a good thing to know where NestMap saved the calibration file on the disk. This could help to diagnose calibration process or event make a backup of the calibration files. To reach those files, open File Explorer and open NestMap folder in My Documents default location. There, you can find the Calib folder where the last calibration pictures are stored. If you have problem with the calibration, looking at those pictures should be a start. Beside the Calib folder, you have the Lookup Table folder, or LUT. Those files contain the alpha value, plus U and V relationship for every pixels of your projector. You should back up those files before any new calibration or nest map update. So this is how you can back up your calibration pictures and look up table data. This concludes this tutorial about how to use nest map. Please like our nest Facebook page to keep you in touch with any development on nest map and other dome tools. Thanks for watching.